Hugh, it's been a mega season for Godolphin, champion owner, trainer, champion jockey, and also champion sire, who's just behind you, Dubawi. Uh, an outstanding season. What has been the reaction internally? Have you spoken to Sheikh Mohammed? You're right, Jim. It's been an absolutely stellar year, 2022, um, coming after some other very good years. But this year has been a particular uh, success. And I know uh, that His Highness is absolutely delighted. He's obviously seen huge success over 40 odd years in, uh, in, in, in the game. But this year to see you know, Dubawi, the uh, son of his, his favorite ever racehorse, Dubai Millennium, actually really demonstrate in, in quantitative terms exactly how good he is. The sheer number of uh, Group 1 performances he's, he's produced right across uh, the whole of the, the industry, but specifically for, for us here at Godolphin, is exceptional. And I know he'll be equally as pleased to see uh, Charlie Appleby and, and William Buick uh, showing the racing world exactly how good they are. There's a lot of ingredients to being uh, as successful as we've been this year and being the champion owner, but I like to think that every single person that works at Godolphin and wears the blue feels that they're part of this team, because they are. We're a sports team and William is right at the sharp end along with Charlie, but every single person here plays a part in the success we've got. And I think we've got the best people in the industry and they've demonstrated this year exactly what we can deliver. Our main objective is to go and win Group 1s and, and, and hopefully go and win Classics as well and try and, as I say, we are here at, uh, at Dalham Hall with the, the stallions behind us and uh, our, our, uh, our aim is to try and put more stallions behind us and, and some and mares on the, on the farms. But, so that's the, that's the main objective at the start of any season. Uh, obviously in doing so, if we're lucky enough to, uh, to have these horses winning these Group 1s and Classics, therefore then it puts us in a position of you know, looking towards the championship. It, and what we've achieved this year. The thing about the game is we all want to try and you know, break records or, 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 or raise the bar and, and, and what we achieved there in the spring, uh, winning the three guineas with three different horses there, has never been done before. So uh, of course everybody took a, a huge amount, amount of uh, pleasure from that but most importantly is Hanish Sheikh Mohammed, he was, you know, he congratulated all the team but um, as we all know he's the, the man who drives us uh, to be able to, uh, to put ourselves in a position to, to hopefully go and try and win these classics. After the native trail one in Ireland, uh, the Irish Guineas there, it was uh, not a sense of relief by any stretch of imagination, but great pride in what we've achieved in winning the three Guineas. And like I say, it's, it, we've made history, and um, that's what I like to feel that we're trying to uh, you know, try and achieve each year is, is, is make a little bit of history. And uh, in doing so, uh, in the spring, it took a lot of uh, a lot of pride and satisfaction from it. Will champion jockey, how does that feel? It feels great. Um, obviously, you know, um, it goes without saying that it's something you can never achieve without, without um, a lot of support and, and a lot of people backing you. Um, but it's something that I've aspired to, to achieve for, for a number of years and, and to finally be able to achieve it. Um, yeah, it, it, feels, uh, it feels very fulfilling. You've been in racing a long time. How long ago did you sort of have a dream that you could be champion one day? You, I think any young jockey starts off you know, dreaming of becoming champion jockey, and then you sort of you you start your career, and you realise how hard that actually is to achieve. And you know, I've seen many jockeys achieve it, and seen how hard they've worked to achieve it. Um, you know, brilliant jockeys um, going, you know, flat out throughout the season, and it is tough. I think when when you realise how sort of elusive it really is, it makes you kind of want it even more. You know. Well, you're champion jockey. It sits well with you. Are you going to come back and try and do it again? I would love to. Yeah, I would love to. Um, that would be the aim for next year. And, um, you know, look, a lot of things need to go right. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to, um, to riding some of the, some of the two-year-olds turning three um, and some of the, the three-year-olds that are going to stay in training. So there's plenty to look forward to and uh, I can't wait to get going again. Sam, behind you is the champion sire of Great Britain and Ireland, Dubawi. What an achievement, what a season he's had. Just fantastic for the whole team. It's, it's what the Stallion team set out to do and to have got there with Dubai Millennium's son is just wonderful, wonderful. Dubai Millennium meant so much to everybody and for his very, very brief career as a Stallion to have left us with him is a re real treat, a real treat. It's what we set out to do. 
Just give us an idea of what he's achieved throughout the year. Um, well, he's just had, he's had so many horses competing at the highest level. 33 individual group winners, but seven group one winners. And I think those seven group one winners typify what he is as a stallion. We go from um, the Diamond Jubilee, the whole way, the whole way through Caribus' Guineas, to the St. Ledger, and that just demonstrates the versatility that he puts into the mares, the versatility that he has as a stallion. And what is it about this season, or what achievement do you think that uh, stands out as far as the horses that have represented him? I suppose modern games. Modern games wins the French Guineas, goes on and then wins in the Breeders' Cup in America at the end of the season. Will that do? That's pretty good. <laughs> um, you know, that's fantastic. And he's got another year ahead next year. He's, ha he's about to have his best results with his two-year-olds. You know, he's had 31 two-year-old winners this year alone. Uh, we're only in November and he's got, you know, he's 33, I think, is his best ever number of two-year-old winners. So the quality is coming through. And of course, as his, as his career has gone on, the level of mare that he's been covering has gone up and up and up. And he, he is covering queens of the turf now. And although his book will be reduced due to his age in 2023, he will still cover a wonderful book of mares. And so there's plenty more to come.